Hey, I'm Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. New York City, my good friend, Mark Murphy. How are you, Murphy? I'm hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris. <laughs> Long overdue. Long we overdue. are in the kitchen of Ditch Plains, Upper West Side. Absolutely. Well, I don't know what the hell Ditch Plains is. Ditch Plains is a New York style fish shack, but you know, it's uh, it's we're not open for lunch here. Obviously. So that's why we decided to come and uh, hang with Harris. You are hanging with Harris. This point's a way out, right? It's actually, it's like yep. a break, a surf thing. It's not, yeah, it, well, it's, uh, it's named after a place I like to go surfing in the summer. By Montauk, by Montauk. Montauk yeah. See, I know the Long Island you know, thing. You know what it's like. So Murphy, we're on the Upper West Side. I know you're kind of like a New Yorker, but you're more like this man of mystery. International yes. father, some kind of France. Yeah, I'm a bit of a mix. German I was, thing. A, 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 quick, a quick rundown, I was born in Milan. My mother's French, my father's American. My father's an American diplomat, so I lived in Rome, Genoa, uh, Spoleto, Milano, Villefranche-sur-Mer, Paris. I ended up doing a stint in Virginia as well. But you're in New York already 20 years plus, right? In Over 20 city. years, yeah. Chef now and cooking. Chef and cooking and having a good culinary time. Culinary school guy, though, or no? I did a culinary school. It was about a three-month thing. It was <laughs> called Peter Peter Kumps back in the day. Now it was called ICE. Sure. I worked with Terrence Brennan here in New York at a place sure. called Prefix. And, yeah. oh. and after about a year and a half there, I packed my bags. I went to Paris and I went and worked in a one-star Michelin restaurant there for almost two years. Did you learn a couple things? We learned a couple things. This dish, we're making carbonara. That was today. the next question. What are we're we ma making? We're making carbonara. There's a couple things. Why I'm making carbonara? What you do at Ditch Plains? I don't do it at Ditch Plains. You don't do it at it's Ditch Plains. It's my Tuesday night pasta at Landmark. Now, do you do that at all your restaurants for a particular reason? Well, because like I opened thing? up Landmark and I wanted yeah. to do a bistro with some Italian influences, okay. and my Italian, Italian influences instead of doing like. Boeuf Bourguignon on Wednesday, instead of doing you the really classic ones. You really went out ones. there with the Boeuf Bourguignon. Blah, 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 blah. That was very and, uh, and, and so I wanted to do the Italian with the, uh, with the dishes of the day, which Just I thought was fun. So, bacon, bacon simmering, simmering, pasta, cooking, we need the carbonara. We need the, we need the other we part, need the which eggs. is very simple. We need to crack a couple eggs in here. For the amount of pasta, I'd say like five eggs. You, I know. This is my Batali trick. I can crack one from the other. Okay. Wow. Let's not put the shell in there. Oh, that's, that's just right. that piece. It's perfection. That's okay. That's all right. Perfection. We'll, we'll and one more. Right. <laughs> Boom, done. So let me see. Yeah, we can put one more in there. We'll be all right. Una mas por favor. Yeah, let's see what happens. I just like seeing them crack eggs. Whisk that up there. Put that, use the fork. There you go. I'm whisking. Well, look at you. Take the yolks, doing the thing. You see this? Do you yep. see this? Put some salt and pepper in there. Like season, a, as I always say, mas? season with authority. Would you put a little um, more in there? All right, now put in. like four or five spoonfuls of that Parmesan. Chefing. One. one uno, two, dos, tres. Un, three, dos, de tres. Four. Get another Atorce. one in there. And one more for good luck. And for good luck. All right, now and whisk it together. Done. Let's see, that will tell. Now you really separate the boys from the men. Oh, this is good. I'm glad I wore a black suit. I like a little extra black pepper in my in We're my going carbonara. for two. Perfect. Boom. Love it. All right, so. I'm not done yet. You're done? You're like, trust me, you're done. Really? It doesn't have to be? It's pretty good, right? He's done a good job. All right, so this is all coming. We're coming to the finish. Look at this. We've got the right? eggs, eggs in the Parmesan with a little black pepper. pepper, salt and pepper. Right. We've got the bacon that's rendered out. I think we're good. We can turn this up a little bit. We're going to be good. Okay, pasta's drained, pasta's hot. You're going to take this. We're going to put some of the fat in. Not all of it. And we'll dump a little bit out. All right. Pretend. Perfect. All right, then we're going to put there. Look at this. This now, is a this Monday morning, start your week off right. Look, look at this pasta. It's I'm got, looking at it. It's got the fat, it's got the, it's got the love, it's all good. Now, we got that egg mixture? Yeah. Put that over there. I'm just the watching way. the whole thing. Now you want to mix this together over a flame, not too hot, yeah. and you got to mix it quick. You don't want them to, this has eggs gotta... to cook. You don't want it to be an omelet, right? But so you really don't want to cook the eggs too much. Put your nose much. in there, put your nose in there. Okay, smell really? it, smell it, seriously. It's in, it's amazing. But you know that kind that, of whole technique. That's of, it. That's it. No more heat. That's, that's it. it. Heat from the pasta is cooking the egg. Cook the egg a little bit. And you want it to move around. Now look at that. People talk about creamy carbonara. Yeah. There is no cream in carbonara. No, there is no. It's cream. about the texture and it's about the doneness of the egg. Now watch this. Hold on. Don't I'm move. I'm not moving. Did you move? I didn't move. I saw you move. This is so fast. He's like done. We're gonna eat it. Then we're gonna leave. There's no this cream. is basically. Breakfast of champions, really. It is breakfast Look of champions. Look at that. I'm looking at it. Don't move. I'm not moving. Did you grab the Parmesan behind you? I did. You should. I am. I will. By finishing with a sprinkle. There you go. Finish with a sprinkle. Thing, you would do this. In. And for good luck. In. There you go. All right. Wait a minute. Wait. Before we do anything not else. Not done yet. These are our good friends, right? What? Red wine's always our yeah, good friend. Red wine's always our good friend. But you know what? I like, I like a nice strong red, and now I, I got a... Uh, Got a little Robert Craig here. Love it. It's, from, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa. Robert Craig, great wine. Grab Murphy. Your bowl. Grab your bowl. I'm grabbing my bowl. Mix it around a little bit. Doing the thing. Now, you know, this isn't done. It's not done? I mean, life. No, life. Yeah, life is not done. The pasta, the life of the pasta I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Because you know what you can do? Hold on, what just do you, see. All right, hold on, I gotta have a bite. How are we mm. doing? Mm. 
Mm. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm. I always make too much, uh -huh. as you can see. The best thing about it. Good for leftovers. Put it in the fridge, mm -hmm. leave it for leftovers. Don't just heat it up. For breakfast tomorrow morning, make a carbonara frittata. Have you ever had a carbonara frittata? It is the best hangover helper in the world because you add a little extra cheese, you more eggs, the pasta, sear it off, put it in the oven, let, let the frittata cook, cut a nice slice of it. it is, it's the best thing in the morning. Murphy, Ditch Plains, Upper West Side, Ditch Plains Downtown, a couple landmarks, 10th anniversary, Kingside, new, it's exciting. Thanks for hanging with Harris. I love hanging with Harris. That's what everyone says. <laughs> we'll see you real soon. Bye.